Hey, good morning. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. We are on day two of our 21 day fast and um, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. We're talking about Genesis 17 and 18, Proverbs 5 and Matthew 9. Um, I'm just gonna recap a little bit of what we're reading about. Genesis 17 and 18 is talking about Abraham and Sarah, the iconic married couple in the Bible, aside from Adam and Eve. But I just love Abraham and Sarah because it's like something out of a reality TV show. It's nuts. Abraham is caught lying to Pharaoh. Sarah gives her maidservant to Abraham to conceive a son for him. And then she and the maidservant hate each other and there's jealousy and she, Hagar is banished. And then um, Sarah lies to the Lord. But here's the deal that I want to take away. Even though they messed up so many times, God kept his, his covenant with Abraham and Sarah. The promises that he spoke over them would come to pass because he is faithful even when they missed it and even when we miss it. And it wasn't that Abraham and Sarah were perfect. It was that they believed in God. And God was, but he was the one who called them. He was the one who changed their names to reflect the destiny that he planned for them. He spoke his purpose into them. And then let's skip to Matthew 9, where we see Jesus doing the same thing. And we know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so I love that we can go from Genesis and then all the way to Matthew and see the same characteristic of God's faithfulness, of calling out those who are broken. If we just say yes to him, he changes us. And so we look at Matthew, Jesus is calling a new disciple, Matthew, who is a tax collector. And tax, tax collectors are traitors to the Jewish people because he's taxing his own people on behalf of the Romans. And so the Jewish leaders are questioning Jesus about who he's choosing to be on his team and who Jesus eats with and who he hangs out with. And Jesus says to the religi religious leaders, he cares more for the sick and he cares more to show mercy to those who are in need than those who think they are right with God already. So isn't that amazing? He calls the ones who know that they need him and he transforms them. And then he then raises a girl from the dead he heals a woman who has been ill for 12 years. That's speaking to somebody who's been needing a miracle, um, needs a healing, and you've been living in it for years. Ponder on this scripture. He heals her after 12 years of being sick, and then he heals two blind men. He delivers a demon-possessed man who was mute, and then now he can speak. And I love in Matthew 9.35, it, it says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. What was Jesus doing in those harvest fields? He was proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God, that's salvation from sins, eternal life, reconciliation with the Father, and he was healing every disease and sickness. He had compassion on them. And what do all these passages that we're reading today have in common? from Genesis to Proverbs to Matthew, we need to know who God is. We do not live in our past mistakes like Abraham and Sarah. We don't live according to our sinful flesh, which Proverbs warns us about. We live to follow Jesus, who is literally slaying demons with his word, healing people by faith, and loving people who needed a savior. It is not by our name, but John 14 says, I love this. Very truly, I, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. 
See, if we truly believe in Jesus, then no matter where we come from, whatever our past looks like, it is not by my power, not by your might, it is not by our good reputation or bad reputation or the influence that we have in our community, our family name, our wealth or lack of, it is by his name and for his glory that we call on him and that's when the miracles happen. That's when impossible things begin. And that's when transformation in our hearts and in our families start. So we're asking the Lord for two things this morning, that in Jesus name, he reveals to you and to me that he is calling us to do what he did in the harvest fields. Whatever that looks like for you in your community, in your workplace, your school, your co-ops with your friends, the people God puts in your path. These are the harvest fields. And Jesus is saying that there are so many loved ones, ones that he loves, who's, they're precious to him. They're being harassed by the enemy. They are helpless. They're without the power of the Holy Spirit and they're dead inside. And, and they are filled with fear of the future and many need healing in their hearts and in their physical bodies. And so we're just gonna pray right now. I just want you to close your eyes if you want to, and we're just gonna call on Jesus. Father, we thank you for your promises, that they are yes and amen, what you've spoken over us because of who you are. You are a covenant keeping God and you are faithful. And as long as we just say yes, we are our hearts are open to receive what you want to give us the calling and the purpose that you have for us to be workers in the harvest field whatever that looks like for each of us that you'll reveal what that looks like for me specifically for my brothers and sisters in christ that you will show us each each of us what that looks like that we will have eyes to see and ears to hear the people that you're putting in front of us, that we will have compassion on them, that we will see their need, that we will show them the love of Jesus, the salvation of Jesus, who can heal their hearts, heal their bodies, and heal their minds. God, that we will walk with boldness today, that we will see people in our path, Lord, and that we will lead them to you, Father. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.